Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have one of the big seasonal subscription boxes that's out there. It is Rachel Zoe's Curateur, formerly known as Box of Style. They changed that up a couple of seasons ago. I think this might be the third season with the new name, but the concept is the same. It is a luxury lifestyle subscription. It's $99.99 per quarter. If you are able to do an annual subscription, there's usually some perks as well as saving $50 overall, so that does bring the price down considerably. I will also leave a link for you in the description box below with a code SPRING25 that will save you $25 and allow you to choose a free gift, and I think there's four different options, so something for everyone. Now this is kind of a pricey subscription, but I actually love the styling of it. And I do think you're always getting your money's worth. Often the total value of the box is well into the hundreds. So even if you only like two or three of the items, you're definitely getting your money's worth and you're getting to try luxury brands that you might not get to try otherwise. So I do think the curation is really good. One of the things that I of course miss is the nice magnetic closure boxes that they used to do, but they're trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly. And honestly, there's only so many of those boxes that you can have stacking up in your closet as storage so I understand the change even though I do wish I had gotten in on the subscription box world a little bit sooner so I had a few more of those beautiful boxes but let's go ahead and get into this season's box and see what we've got now there is always one choice item and that is a choice that is available to seasonal and annual subscribers which I definitely appreciate and the two choices this time were really really different but we'll talk about it a little bit more so it just comes in this very simple brown box box with curateur kind of wrapping around the corner. So you can probably, if you know what all the spoilers are for this season's box, guess what my choice item was because one was really big and would have to come in a much bigger box and one was really small. So inside, this is where we get the nice glossy interior. So if you do want to turn the box inside out and use it as storage, you definitely can. And this is one of the few times that my box has come not too dented on the corners and stuff. So I might actually hold on to it for a little bit longer. So now they used to do a little like pamphlet that was like a square shape, almost like a CD insert if you guys remember those. But now they have shifted to doing like this big uh, magazine almost that has articles. There's usually one of the items they feature that company and do like a little interview, a little article about them. And then they have added, it even looks thicker than the last time. So let me just flip through. There is always a nice little message in the beginning from Rachel Zoe herself, who is, you know, very well known stylist. It says, my dearest members, spring has always been a time of renewal and growth that encourages us to refresh all aspects of our lives. It is the perfect time to cleanse our bodies, minds, and homes to make room for new and exciting possibilities. This season selects were curated for you to elevate your everyday style and to help breathe new life into your beauty essentials and wardrobe. My hope is that each piece will make you feel like your most confident and glamorous self. There is endless beauty in knowing exactly who you are and believing in yourself and all that you are capable of. Please enjoy the season's curation and thank you for your continued support. So that is a nice message and I do agree that's kind of what spring is all about, but I have definitely found myself using items from this subscription um, months and months, years later even, just because I do think the quality is very impressive. So it just tells us all of the items. So yes, one of the items is a skincare product from Hue and Grace, and so they've got this nice, nice long article uh, talking to them and probably kind of what their company is all about and it does tell us a little bit about the serum that is included but it doesn't actually tell the retail values and usually the retail values of all the items are included so you can kind of do the math in your head and see what a great deal you are getting so it does look like they have the retail values for all of the other items i'm just kind of flipping through we have another um we have another article from uh with clea and joanna who are uh the home edit founders and then let's see we've got more information about like their home edit stuff you can get a lot of things in the Rachel Zoe or Curator shop a, a good discount as well that seems to be a trend with all subscriptions they're all trying to do their own like marketplace so that you can buy items that don't necessarily appear in the subscription box and it definitely is like a win-win for the companies that are featured as well as as the middleman of that subscription we've got another one with like an interior designer another article and then this is the shop the spring edit so it's just showing you some of the items that you can buy in 
in there on your own and it's an easy addition and when I have done add-ons they have actually come with my box but I did not do any add-ons this time around so it's definitely a magazine now it's definitely something that I can dive into a little bit later but I'll just keep it open so that I can tell you a little bit more about the products I won't actually obviously read that entire article uh, with Hugh and Grace but inside we've just got some tissue paper kind of covering everything up so let me go ahead and tear that tissue paper and get into it it's a lot of smaller items so it shouldn't take too long to go through this time around so the first item let's go ahead and find the serum so it is the renewing night serum from Hue and Grace and it comes in this lovely little package here very pretty very sleek and I believe it has a value of $90 something like that pretty close to a hundred like I said I don't actually see it here it says why your skin will love it crafted from a supercharged custom blend of plant-based vegan and cruelty free ingredients like rosehip meadow foam and blue tansy oils the renewing night serum moisturizes and fortifies skin while you sleep. The result is a strengthened skin barrier, stimulated collagen production, and even skin tone. And I've said it before, but I will say it again. I have really enjoyed all of the skincare products that I've received in a box of style, now Curator. Um, they've always been high quality, and sometimes it was like the first time for me trying something. Like uh, they had a serum once before, and it was like my first time trying anything with retinol in it. I really actually loved it so much. We get a lot of serums in different subscription boxes, but again, I always tend to want to try and hold on to the items that I receive in this particular subscription. So it's just that classic little dropper bottle that you see in a lot of serums. A little goes a long way though, so I will definitely add this to my starting to get better night routine. So it looks good, looks pretty light. I'm wondering if it has like much of a scent to it because I don't like it when they do. So it actually smells like really citrusy to me, so that's kind of nice. It's definitely kind of fresh, so that'll be a fun thing to try and see if it has any sort of effects because I kind of have combination skin, like dry patches around my forehead and then oily patches around my nose, so hopefully that kind of balances everything out. So then let me go to the next little one. Now this is a makeup item and a lot of the times I don't necessarily use the makeup items. I think in my first box from Box of Style there was a, like a little palette and it was actually a choice. You got to choose between two different color palettes and I still use that. I absolutely love it. But a lot of the other makeup items that I've received, they're just like more advanced makeup items than I would normally use. Like, um, you know, I think there was like a highlighter and I just don't know what to do with highlighter. So this is uh, the Beyond Powder Highlighter. So it's Ilam Ilamasca. Ilamasqua. I don't know how to say that. So it says, built for the bold, Ilamasqua's creation was inspired by subculture subversion and the redefinition of beauty conventions. The artistry quality products are cruelty free and high impact for those who want to leave their mark. And it says that it has a, a $45 value. It says, use a highlighter brush to swipe over the high points of your face, like your cheek and your brow bones for a lip from within glow, dust across the collarbone and shoulders to create subtle illumination, dampen an eyeliner brush to craft a modern metallic line across your lids oh that's kind of an interesting idea not not that I that's something that I'll probably attempt myself just because you guys know I'm not super adventurous when it comes to wearing makeup but let me go ahead and open it up this is a really cool package though how like the it comes in from the corners so this will probably be something that one of you the lucky people will receive in a giveaway like I said I just don't use a ton of makeup I'm trying to open it up and I always have such a hard time opening these you guys like I never know if I'm supposed to like press on a button or or if it just opens on its own it does just open so I don't want to blind you there is a mirror but there's this really pretty like pad of highlighter that's really really cool wow I wasn't expecting that it looks like there's like a little droplet of water or some kind of moisture there but um you probably won't be able to see it so it looks, definitely looks very like pearly um so I'll pass this on to one of you guys but um I'm not I'm not upset about it. Like I said, if I like three to four of the items in this box, I still feel like I'm definitely getting my money's worth. So let's look at the next one, which is kind of big. And this again was in everybody's box. It is the Jules K purse and it's just in black, which you guys know I love me some black. Now, if you uh, are someone who really prefers silver hardware and silver jewelry, this is not the subscription for you because she tends to go with the gold accents. Um, but of course that definitely works for me. So let me just go ahead and uh, cut this open. There's the tape was, the tape was really aggressive on here. It's still really aggressive, but I'm glad that it's uh, all wrapped up nicely. 
So this is vegan leather. Um, I've gotten Jules K products in a couple of other subscription boxes, usually just little wristlets. This has a value of $95. That seems fair. Um, I personally like leather products, but because I find them to be a little bit more sustainable, but I have noticed that a lot of the vegan bags that I've been getting have been lasting a little bit longer than like the first round, like back when I started buying them. So it's much softer than I expected, but I do kind of like this U shape to it. It's kind of like, I feel like we're coming back to some of the older, like slouchier styles, but it does still have some like nice structure to it. Um, it is really, really soft. I can see how it would be mistaken for actual leather. I thought it was going to be a little bit more grained, honestly. So let me go ahead and pull some of the stuffing out so that you guys can see it. So it does come with a nice long strap. And this is the, what I really liked about it was this like braided strap. I thought that was like really cool to add a little bit of texture and design. And it does have like an adjustable buckle so you can decide how long you want it to be. I don't think it's like long enough to actually be a crossbody, but honestly, they're showing it on this model and it's pretty long. So you can definitely make it hang pretty low and it looks like it's pretty roomy. Like even though it's got this unique shape, I think you can definitely fit all of your essentials in it. I don't carry a ton of stuff in my purse. It's like phone, wallet, keys for the most part. And of course, face masks and such. So on one side, it does have a zipper pocket. You can kind of see right here. And then on the other side, it has like a nice slip pocket so that's a good place for your phone and I just think it's very like sleek and chic and I'm really happy about it this was the item that I was most excited about excited about in this season's box and I just actually got rid of like a black leather purse that I had like used until it got all kind of like frayed on the edges and corners so I'm really happy to have a nice replacement for that it's like a good size and a good shape for me so I'm really happy it says hailing from New York Jules K bags are designed for the trend forward woman with a busy lifestyle anchored by strength and femininity each style prioritizes versatility and longevity and since they're crea crafted from premier cruelty free PETA approved vegan leathers, you can feel good feel as good as you look. I have to say in some of the photos, it almost looks like silver hardware. It says highlight the sculptural crescent silhouette by wearing on the shoulder with a tailored blazer and wide leg pants for an off duty spin. The crossbody style pairs effortlessly with a slip dress and sneakers. So it sounds like you can actually wear it as a crossbody. That's how long that nice soft strap is. And I like how wide it is. And again, it is a nice soft leather. So it feels like it's not going to like dig into your shoulder, even if you do manage to pack a lot of stuff in there. So that is probably going to be my favorite item so we've got two more and they are both jewelry pieces so they are both from Vita Fede so this is um, one of the choice items as well so it says marrying modern aesthetic with an old world attention to detail each item is made by artisans from around the world founder Cynthia Sakai's mission is to create beautiful pieces with a meaningful story thus connecting people in a genuine and unexpected way direct from the artist workbench to the client's closet each of the modular styles are intended to be as useful as they are transformative so you guys this is where we get that like crazy value these earrings and I guess this would like be something that you wouldn't necessarily want if you were someone that didn't have pierced ears or if you don't like big dangly earrings like I do um, these have a value of three hundred and eighty eight dollars so here is an example of an item that I'm really happy to have but that I probably would never purchase myself and I just thought these were really cool it says these modular earrings can be detached and worn in a multitude of ways pair the simplistic variation with a T and jeans or elevate your evening wear with the intricate tiered hoops oh that's interesting so it looks I'm I didn't know that I didn't know that they were sort of like adjustable so they just came in this plastic to keep them from tarnishing of course so let me just pull one of them out if I can so it's telling there's a little how to care for your jewelry card of course so a little bit sticky so it looks like these might I wonder if they actually open up how interesting so it's just a simple post here on top you guys and then you can see it's that nice really like thick um, loop on each of these and it's kind of like flat it's got those like edges to it and then there's these I guess there's technically there's three complete rings and then at the top here it's almost like a, a letter G there I just think these are really really cool I'm not sure what they mean about them being adjustable if there's a way for you to I guess because of this like G shape here you guys I guess you could take some of the links off and then put them back on and stack them however you want to that's interesting huh I'm not really sure though because it's not like you can take the links off themselves so I'd have to like look into it because I don't see any actual variations but it just says pair the simplistic variation with a 
tee and jeans or elevate your evening wear with intricate tiered hoops. Modular earrings though. So I'll have to figure out what they mean by that if you can actually take them apart. It seems like you might be able to because there's definitely an indentation on the earring. So there we go. So look, you guys, you can actually take it off and just wear it as a simple little like half hoop there. That is super cool. So this works definitely for those of you who might not want that big dangly earring. And then it looks like you can kind of do that a lot. So each of those has a little notch and that's where you can pull that through. So you can actually reverse it. So if you wanted to, you can have the bigger hoop at the top. Let me see if I can get that to slide in to show you how that works. Uh, I'm saying this as I'm like doing it and seeing if it actually like works out, but I think I can actually pull that through. Hold on one more second. I'm almost there. There we go. So now I just reversed it and I put the like bigger hoop at the top. So that is pretty cool that you can do it either way. So I kind of like it with the bigger hoop at the bottom, but that is so neat and I didn't know that. So that makes me appreciate these earrings like that much more. Super duper cool. Now, finally, our last item, you guys, is the um, Teresa Folia. There was a hat, which was a gorgeous, gorgeous hat in like cream. Uh, it had a $400 value. You, and it is just so stylish and lovely but I just didn't think that I would find myself like wearing it that often it feels like one of those things that you could wear with like a gorgeous white pantsuit but like I never have the occasion to do something like that so instead of going for the hat even though it had a lower value I went for the matching ring set that goes along with those earrings the Vida Fede Casio Pave ring which still has a $250 value so let me go ahead and open that up I'm so excited about those earrings you guys and that I like figured it out while you, while you were being patient with me figuring it out so this is really lovely and that's it's kind of the same chunky style so it's like these interlocking rings um, I think that they only came in like one size though that was the only thing where if it wasn't your ring size I felt like it might be like kind of a bummer so I think that you can actually wear them all together on one finger um, they kind of like roll down if you can get them to go but I'm not sure but they also have that like interlocking they have those little notches in them so I feel like you can take them apart as well how interesting so they all do now you can see two of them are plain gold and then one of them has that like pave like sparkle in it so it says let's see pair with a monochromatic ensemble for a statement making moment or dress it down with off-duty denim or a poplin dress that's for the uh for the hat or the ring, I guess they're saying. But I have to look more into how you would actually use this because I don't think they actually fit together, um, like kind of wrapped. I have a couple of rings that have that like effect where they look like they're twisted around one another. I think you might have to take them apart to figure out how to make them go on your finger. So it's almost like a puzzle. I feel like this is a puzzle ring that I'm gonna have to like figure out. So I'm not sure. I think when you go to the, you match up two notches, that's how you would take them apart but I'll have to play around with it a little bit more or like look on the interwebs and figure it out. So if you guys have any um, familiarity with this particular kind of interlocking ring, please let me know, but it is really pretty. I think the styling is lovely. I love the big gold chunky loops and I think I can make it work. And it seems like something that's very classic, very timeless and very useful. So again, the uh, two jewelry pieces together were like almost, oh, let's see like a $600 value. Um, and of course it would have been like a thousand dollar value if you had chosen the hat. And that's before we even talked about the beautiful purse, which does remain my favorite thing, that $90 serum. And then what was the other thing we got? Oh, the beautiful highlighter palette, which some of you guys know and probably would be able to use a little bit more than I would. So I'm really happy with this, this season's edit and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.